back to carbuy.com.sg. I'm Darren. In front of us is the new Mercedes-Benz GLE. Now, this actually launched in Singapore July of last year, 2019, but we finally have our hands on it. And what makes it special? Well, it's only the second time we're driving a seven-seat SUV from Mercedes in Singapore. The first one was the GLS, and that was a few years ago. We're going to do a walkthrough of the car today. We're going to show you some of its features, as well as what makes a big Mercedes. All right, GLE, what is a GLE? Actually, the GLE used to be called the M-Class, and when they named it, uh, when they say the name, it's like ML350, for example. They don't say M350 because of uh, copyright issues and stuff like that. Um, but uh, uh, the previous generation model, that was the third gen, they changed the name halfway from uh, ML to GLE, and this is the new one, the fourth gen. And what's interesting about this car is that it's the first time this uh, the GLE has actually had has actually had um, seven seats and of course it's a big SUV so one of the reasons why the previous model maybe wasn't so popular is that um, the competitors like the Volvo XC90 and the BMW X5 they had uh, the seven seat option but this um, this car didn't have it until very recently okay so there's only one model for Singapore this is a 450 and um, it comes in the AMG line kit just take a look on the front AMG line kit so you can see the big single fin and the big uh, badge Mercedes badge we have a diamond grille you see on some AMG models see another angle of the car here we've got big 20 inch wheels as standard we got buses in the background that's not standard and one way you can recognize the GLE or the ML immediately is from this uh, C pillar this little angled kind of back angled C pillar only the ML has this and then kind of disguises the fact that it's a very square SUV. So what makes this a big Mercedes? And if you watched our last video, the Mercedes-Benz C160, which, is, which we dubbed uh, the cheapest big Mercedes you could find in Singapore, that was kind of borderline, you know, on the borderline between big and small. But this really is the one of the really clear examples of a big and comfortable Mercedes. And we'll show you why. Not just for the fact that it has seven seats, but, you know, electric tailgate right there. Just ignore my crap. Seven seats. We will try these out later. But I want to show you something really cool. These electric seats. Okay, electric seats. Here you go. Yay, I don't have to sweat and curse like a peasant. Hello, peasant. Hello, my lord. Hello, peasant. Alright, I'll hop into the second room right now. Big Mercedes, this is the second row of the GLE. I have my own seat controls right here. And that's quite rare to find in anything other than an S-Class. For example, you won't find this in an E-Class at all. I've got my own aircon controls. We've got our own whoop, ashtray. Oh, there's no ashtray in it. You have to pay extra for that. you got your own two USB uh, charging ports right there. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now you can, oh, you can also see that you have shades so people can't see inside the car. Yeah, rolling high on Mercedes. All right, I'm going to go to the back seat, the third row, and see how terrible it is. Or not terrible. The third row, aha, uh -huh, there's no handle here. I have to push the button. Ta-da! Very easy. DIY. Okay, then let's see how we <laughs> squeeze in after this. <laughs> not looking forward to that. Okay, third row of the GLE. These seats, second row, are in their full forward position. Um, get in here. Urgh. Okay, I got about this much room between my knees and the seat back. As you can see from here, maybe it's a bit cut off on the camera, but I 
if I sit up. Oh, my head touches the ceiling. Huh. I got about this much room. So, just like the X5, just like the Q7, the uh, Volvo XC90, the third row of seats in a seven seat SUV like this one, and it's not a GLS, not a colossal big monster, uh, meant for short trips, not meant for real people, meant for crotch goblins or maybe teenagers who are. Um, haven't got their growth spurt in yet. But you do have two cup holders and two USB-C ports at the back. So as you will notice, it's got the huge MBUX setup with the dual 12.3 inch screens, just like the S-Class and just like the E-Class. So immediately, if you jump into one of these from a small Mercedes, which have the dual 10.25 inch screens, the effect is very noticeable. Let's just take a look around the side. And when they say widescreen cockpit, they really mean it. So Mercedes has one of the nicer iterations of high technology here. We also have this, the MBUX system, a touch screen. And also you have the voice command system, which is activated by saying, hey Mercedes. And that one's pretty useful. We've demonstrated that before, so we won't go into that again. Touch pad. Um, it's all right, not the best. We still like the rotary controller better. Adjustable seats, number one. Adjustable steering column, number two. We'll miss the sound system, sounds pretty good. Um, as you will hear in a while. What is telephone charger. This one has a special feature, that's a drink heater or a drink cooler. Don't know if I can focus on that. Yeah, that's quite cool. I haven't really tried it out though. And also the air ionizer function. Let me look for it. Air ionizer comfort. No, that's not the right one. Um, air quality. So they have an ionizer, they have a charcoal filter, and um, also this being a three row SUV, you can control the aircon in the front and the back right from here. Really cool. Right, one of the features, um, the premium features of a big Mercedes is something Mercedes calls energizing comfort and they use the air conditioning, uh, the seat movement and music as well as fragrance if you have it installed. Um, now we have the thing but we don't have the cartridge so no smells. Yeah, and they use that to um, produce a kind of wellness effect. Um, I don't know if it really works, so I, I, better, be, better if I show you. Let's just try this one, it's called Vitality. So, Vitality. In nine offers, you will be familiarized with how to remain present while driving or when going about day-to-day -day business. By concentrating on the moment, your breathing and the tension of your body, you will become more attentive. Stop it, and stop it, stop it. Okay, um, I think it's useful if maybe, yeah, uh, it's useful. Mindfulness is very useful, but maybe not in the car while you're driving. As you notice, um, I have to be stopped and the, the engine is running, so I'm kind of wasting fuel here. But um, yeah, energizing comfort, uh, interesting idea, but maybe doesn't work so well in real life. Ladies Benz GLE, 7C SUV, big, nice, plush, comfortable, with energizing comfort that is maybe quite energizing, but maybe not so comfort. Um, we have the full review out on carbuy.com.sg, this is just our walkthrough and as usual, stay tuned to the channel for more content. I will say that this may be our uh, second last video for like a month because Singapore is going into a semi-lockdown after this so we might not get to try any cars for a while. But we will continue updating the website and trying to come up with some content. If you like this video, please share it. Um, please visit the website www.carbuyer.com.sg Stay safe, wash your hands, don't talk to people with an open mouth.